Now, a Scottish startup moved to the National Robotics Facility to accelerate growth. A burrowing robot which swims through grain bulks to ensure crops are stored more efficiently has been launched by Agritech developer Crova. The T-shaped robot has been designed to offer farmers better insight into the environmental conditions of grain crops. We we'll leave you with this report. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. A grain surfing robot called Crova is said to revolutionize global crop management after its investors joined Scotland's National Robotarium as part of ambitious plans to scale. The T-shaped Android can be deployed in grain silos to give farmers real-time insights into the conditions of their crops, enhancing quality and reducing waste. Crops stored in sheds or silos were previously tested by inserting spears into grain mountains. Now thanks to Crova, named after the Edinburgh Agritech startup, is set to improve safe global farming practices. So what we've developed is effectively the world's first robot able to swim through assemblies of granular media and go into the bulk of the grain to measure conditions and also we've got some features in the pipeline to collect samples and do other activities that grain storage operators at the moment either have to do manually or can't do at all. The device helps in saving hours of operating work and improves accuracy. The robot can swim through the grain quickly, generating a 3D map of temperature and moisture across the stock. This kind of insight can help people like farmers to better understand the condition of their grain and make informed decisions earlier, like increasing ventilation or taking pest control measures. So the main way of monitoring grain bulks at the moment is still sending a person to physically walk on top of these grain bulks, which is very dangerous to do because uh, grain entrapment and grain engulfment can be fatal uh, and hence a lot of companies do not do any monitoring or sampling at all because of the dangers involved. The company will be based at the National Robotarium and will reap benefits from the Robotarium's incubation facilities, state-of-the-art labs and engineering expertise. So the two main factors is temperature and moisture for long-term storage. Uh, Temperature rises, bugs start to develop, start to breed, generate heat. The um, mycotoxins mold and then the grain's written off probably and it kind of enter the human food chain and it is just a huge financial impact to the farmer involved who is storing that grain. Crover's compact device has inbuilt moisture and temperature sensors and uses two domed shaped wheels to propel itself through grain or other material in a bulk stack. It then feeds back analyses and data to a dashboard, giving users a more accurate understanding of the grain's condition. Temperature and humidity have a profound impact on grain storage and can contribute to the infestation of mold or insects. This can further cause farmers to destroy significant portions of their stored crops. It is estimated that up to 30% of commodity grain is lost from the supply chain globally every year as a result.